This letter is to all of us, and it goes like this. Dear friends, we are aware of the urgent need for capital to cover the cost of deferred maintenance and improvements needed for the future of our church. In thinking of my 88 years at Trinity, I am moved to offer a lead gift as a memorial to the people who encouraged and supported me as I grew up in the church. I want to mention a few of those people. Harvey and Ella Brown supported the Sunday School and Choir Program, which gave us opportunities for leadership and an appreciation for the literature of church music. Mr. Jesse Barnes supported the Boy Scout Program and paid my way to the 1937 Boy Scout Jamboree in Washington, D.C. When I returned and offered to repay him, he said that would not be necessary, but that I should pass the favor on to someone else in the future. Mr. Austin Stubbs was my Sunday school teacher, scoutmaster, and my attorney when I started my business. Mr. Ralph Rogers, Sr. gave me a much-needed job as a bicycle delivery boy for his drugstore. Mr. Rufus Powell, Sr. was a longtime Trinity trustee and house builder who built my family's first house. When he retired, he gave me a number of his tools. The ministers that conference assigned to Trinity have been an inspiration. The Divinity School students who worked with our young people have gone on to serve the conference well. The people I have mentioned are just a smattering of the help and inspiration I have received in my years at Trinity. Many people have derived the same help from Trinity's first Methodist church. We owe it to ourselves and the future to continue to continue the tradition. If we support the church with our gifts, I invite you to join me in furthering that tradition by contributing to the capital campaign in honor of the people in this church who enrich you and Trinity Church. Sincerely, George W. Newton. Thank you.